W Hotel pool, hanging out. Walked in off the beach to use the toilet, to use the bathroom. Nobody stopped me, so I had to have a swim and hang out by the pool. Why not? Why not? Stay here for a bit. Hang out. Ah, this pool is amazing. Perfect temperature pool. Super nice place. I can only imagine the nightly cost here. Probably something crazy, like really crazy. I mean, in some places it's like a thousand dollars a night. You know, like in Miami. I don't know. Some places here, I have to look. I'm I'm curious, but it's at least. I want to say it's at least three hundred. Maybe I could be way off. You know, mostly just going off of like other places. I doubt the massages are free and. Uh, like the food service, I, I, I think it's all separate anyways, uh, no matter what, so I'm not going to bother. Free water though, I, got, I mean a free, I'm already vetted as, as staying here at this point, <laughs> so yeah, free water, probably get liquor, but I'm not interested. Too bad there's not much sun. Could be catching rays over here. <sighs> Probably head out a little, a little, in a little bit. The point was to take a, a walk on the beach after I worked out at the gym actually, but mm, got stuck. Got stuck. Okay, well that was a good way to spend an hour and a half. That's nice. I wonder if I can do that all the time. Kind of waltz in there. I mean, I, you know, I've seen vlogging a dead horse pull that same thing. I think mostly in Hua Hin in Thailand. Remember those videos? It. I remembered. Once I was using the bathroom in there, and then I just saw this nice pool, and it didn't seem like uh, anyone was going to stop me. I figured, why not? Why not? There's people outside, so many people outside of the hotel, by the beach, ready to hassle anybody coming out of that place. They know that those people have a little cat. Hmm. I think I'm gonna head back to Changu. Starving. This place is really nice, whatever this is. Look at this pool. I mean, I don't know if anybody is staying here. Or what? Look at this pool. I don't see anybody, but it looks pretty private. 
That's nice. Hmm. Interesting. You come outside, you're just swimming in their pool. You're like, who the fuck is this idiot? dog out here. Hey! Hey! How are you? I'm not gonna fuck around with trying to go pet a dog. Get my hand bit off. It's probably guarding that pool. He probably wants a little bit of grub. Probably hungry. Cute dog. I mean, look at this beach, though. I gotta say, if you stay right there and you have to walk out onto this beach like this, kind of devalues that. It devalues it a lot. Maybe that's why it looks like there's nobody there. We're also in Seminyak, which. You know, I feel like it could be hit or miss in terms of if the place is actually going to be booked or not. I mean, we are in mid-December. It's getting toward the holiday season. Oh, the doggo is taking a little dump. That's what he's doing. It's around sunset time. I'm trying to check out the Atlas Beach Club here. See what this is all about. Big, big beach club, kind of new. It was in my vlogs before, but just walking by. Jesus Christ. Do I have to pay to get in? I thought it was free entry. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask. Let's see what they say. I've had two people tell me the entry is free. Probably just have to pay for a bed. Slam. Moments later. One eternity later. Is it? I thought it was free entry. It's supposed to be free entry, no? That's kind of what I thought. We had no idea. You just doing a little vlogging? <laughs> yeah, vlogging in the waiting in line for yeah. 10 minutes. <laughs> That's nuts. I'll have to do some editing. Huh? I'll have to do some editing. On yeah, that. yeah. Alright, is it free entry? Um, you don't get trans tickets, I could be a free person. Oh. Then you get one drinks and all the things you you have to pay two hundred fifty thousand every day. No, I would do that. I would actually. Pay. Okay. Never mind. Just for one person. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Thank you. Oh, that's horrible. Two hundred fifty thousand mandatory entry. Eat my. 
I'm, I'm not that salty, actually. I, I didn't even know about it. What's up? How are you? Good? I <laughs> uh, see. I'm glad I was talking shit about that place in the other vlog. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, it's all bad. The DJ's Day book. I mean, the... Oh, God. Well, if you guys want to check it out, 250k. I think you get a drink. The place looks nice, you know? I, you can see it from the beach. It's like a beautiful place. Really nice pool and all that, but 250k to get in? What? What? I'm just gonna walk down to Barawa Beach down here. I don't know if Finn's you have to pay. Hey, how much is it to get into? How are you? Good? How much is Finn's just for general? Free entry. Thank you. Oh. Okay, but enter down there, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Interesting, okay. Finn's it is. I pay 100k for a water, but. Hey, how are you? Should have put a water in my back pocket. You know what? Might have to just do that real quick. Grab one down here at the beach. For one of these guys, you're gonna see me buy it there. Hello. Uh. Grab a water down here, 10K. Maybe he charges me 20K. Throw it in the back pocket. Throw the shirt over it, you know? I don't know if they're gonna do a little pat down. They might do a pat down to stop people from bringing liquor in. I don't think so. I also can't just whip out my water bottle in Finn's Beach Club at that point. Yeah, it's nice down here. Hey, you have a bottle of water? How much? 10,000, okay. Get my freaking money out of here. See if they pat me down. It's a little bulky back there. I can feel it, but should be good. Free to get in, Finns. I mean, it used to be free to get in every beach club. La Brisa, now you have to pay. I mean, maybe it was free before in Atlas, and now it's got to pay. I don't even know when that place opened, to be honest. Yes. In the last few years. Okay, I think no problem. I think it's very easy. Fucking lines. <laughs> we'll shower.
What's up? How are you? I don't use it like that. I just use it like this. No, no. Why not? Yeah. I bring before, no problem. I just keep. I always keep like this. I never even. I never pull it. You can. You can. I don't even ever do like this. Guys, we have the role of our company. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Me, okay. Sure. Just like this. Okay. This cannot lower inside. You can keep here. Okay. If you want not keep here. Ah, I can keep it here. Okay. Push, yes. Okay, no problem. Just only here. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. I give you card like this. Okay. The finishing time. You show me the card. I give bring back your clipper. Okay. 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 okay thank got you. It. I give it. Okay. That was awful in there. Uh, I mean, first they took the selfie stick. I went in. People were absolutely mashed, drunk in ways that I've, I've not seen. Um, and there's just very loud, loud music playing. And so I realized I can't film in there. So I have a copyright strike. So <laughs> I used the bathroom and then decided to leave. And on the way out, the guy tried to like stop me about the water. And I told him I was leaving and he grabbed the water anyway and like tried to take it. And I said, I'm leaving, give me my water. And he told me like, then I'm gonna walk you out. I said, certainly. It's all right. He's doing his job, but still. <laughs> oh. like you know they're almost gonna like fly at you to be honest kick you right in the jaw would be fun I've considered doing it in the past always been afraid of heights uh, maybe it would be good to break out of that comfort zone and just do it because it would be fun now, you're never gonna see me like uh, doing some cliff jumping or something like that. Free jumping or anything absolutely batshit crazy like that. I mean, there's videos on YouTube of people like free jumping from just crazy heights into like a net. You know, like just have to hit the net on the ground or else game over. This, that is like a, a terrifying thought. Oh, this one is Atlas but with the music. Okay. Of course it is. Of course it is. Hello. Hello. I will say everybody's very happy and smiling. Yeah, take, take the things I say sometimes with a grain of salt and realize I'm not actually so like upset or in a, a bad mood. I, I can, I'll be smiling the next second. I'm just kind of having a little fun, throwing a little banter, you know? Talking shit. 
Not really dogs over here. I don't see dogs. I usually remember seeing this, at least over on Batu Belong, a lot of dogs. I think because like people walking their dogs and people bringing their dogs out uh, for sunset and stuff. I think, I think what I'm seeing over here is like a lot of uh, mostly tourists, not people living here, not expats. Yeah, again, it's probably the holiday thing. I imagine over the next week, it's gonna get more and more crazy. It's not like too noticeably crazier for me yet in like the streets. Uh, I mean, it's the same level of crazy and traffic that it's been. Or maybe it's gonna pick up. Maybe I, 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 what everybody says, you know, the next two weeks, yeah, that's true. New Year's is probably even more of a like a thing to, to travel for to Bali than Christmas, you know. Everybody wants to raid on New Year's. So many families over here, kids, and so many kids. Jesus. Holy sh! Talk about a lot of people. I just haven't seen this many people uh, on the beach or anywhere in a long time. I mean, let me see if I can get, like zoom in here. I mean, do you see the numbers of people over there? Holy hell. Excuse my language as well. Who would have mercy? That's cool. A lot of people. I think a lot of Indonesian people, honestly. A lot of Indonesian people over here, actually. Maybe the Jakarta cruise has started rolling in. In the beach clubs, it was more like drunk white people. And a lot of Chinese people as well. Which I think are a little bit more contained, a little bit more you know, keep it, keep themselves together. You're not going to, I mean, it could, but you're not going to see them slipping down the stairs or shutting the lights in the bathroom for, you know, no reason, just because they're twisted up. No, no. No, 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 never, never do that. To work in a place like that would be, would be tough. When I was at the W earlier, I mean, I was observing the staff and when I, any of the staff I talked to were so friendly actually, just like extra friendly. I was like, oh wow, there must be like a real, you know, customer service first type place when they train you. Like you gotta be extra, extra nice to the, to the guests, you know. But it really stood out. Like they they were the most bubbly, friendly, like hotel staff I think I've ever seen in my my life anywhere. Now given I've never stayed at the W or anywhere that nice ever. It's a really nice breeze, I'll say. I just sit over here for 10 15 minutes. Go eat something at home after. 
stay tuned. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching to the end. If you did and you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Maybe drop a thumbs up on the video. If you want to contribute, you can go into the description. There's a link, buy me a coffee, $5 donation, however much you want. Direct PayPal contribution as well. Everything's appreciated. It will help me travel around a bit more, make some more interesting stuff. Yeah. See you in the next vlog.